Always speaking slowly Understand what we say Just a couple of teachers Just a band and a hey, hey. Here we go Speaking kinda slow Gotta make you laugh with a super silly show Silly! Making funny jokes using words that you know Know them Friend and babe with a reggae flow Yo! English conversation that is a creation Listen to the program for mental masturbation Yeah! <laughs> Hear him now! <laughs> Hear him! That's a teacher, that's a teacher it's a teacher talk. Wait, what's that? It's a teacher talk. You can't do it. Isn't it? <laughs> Mine's a bit more aggressive. Is yours, that a gun? Yours doesn't have the right sound. Is that supposed to be a gun? I think it's some like kind of reggae sound that reggae artists make isn't it just a reggae artist sound like to get the crowd all excited you're like oh man we're here with the reggae beats man bra, bra, bra. hear me now something like that rewind up one <laughs> selector these kinds of things drop the track dj bra, bra, bra. <laughs> yeah anyway i do love it and it always puts me in an island vibe yeah that song yeah, because I I need a tropical getaway. Yeah, it's uh, you need a holiday, Ben. I've been dreaming of it. Yeah, dreaming. Literally, of it. just had a month. <laughs> yeah, I know, but now I need another yeah, one. That was not really a holiday. It wasn't a holiday. Mm. You need a few days without your family. Well, no, I, well, on I want... the beach with a, some cold beers. I imagine a tropical, beautiful beach. Uh-huh. White sand. White sand beach. Clear right. aqua water. Whoosh. Aqua water? Aqua. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the color aqua. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Aqua water. I know water means aqua. Yeah, aqua means water. Aqua means so water. You kind of just said clear water water. <laughs> The wateriest water <laughs> I can find. So, you know, a beautiful blue sea. Crystal. Uh, shells on the beach. Um, my wife in a beautiful bikini. Ooh. Me with my a red body You're lying on the Your on the hairy beach lobster chair. body. My hairy red like body. Like a cooked lobster except covered with hair. Yes, exactly. <laughs> covered with blonde fine hair. <laughs> waving in the wind. And all of the children in some kind of cage. <laughs> you know what you should do? What? Save some money mm -hmm. and take your time to plan a vacation. You say that so easily. Save some money. It's very hard to save money. You're saving money all the time. A little. Yeah. I'm like a squirrel with tiny little nuts. Squirrel. Not squirrel. Not squirrel. Squirrel. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I hate that. Anyway, if you can, save some money, take your time, mm -hmm. and book a vacation in like a cheap tropical country. Mm. And get like a, a nice hotel, like four or five stars. I like this. Yeah. Because... Mm -hmm. A lot of those really nice resort hotels, yes, they have programs for kids. They do, yeah. So you can go there. Okay, kids, off you go. And they'll have the time of their life. Mm, that's what I'm worried about. They're still too young to, yeah, right. to just go. That's why you start saving money now. You're talking about years, eh? A few years. I can't do a few years. I need a tropical holiday now. Well. As soon as possible. Well, then divorce your wife, uh, leave your family behind, Ooh, and start off again. you go. Start again. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the reset button on life. Well, I don't know. Legally I'm change trying, my name. I'm trying to give you. Become a woman. Good advice. Cut my dick off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tropical dickless Ben. Red as a <laughs> red as a lobster. <laughs> red lobster covered with hair and yeah. 
<laughs> no dick. No dick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just a shell covering down there. Like the Little Mermaid. Okay. Ariel. Okay. Okay. Ariel. Now, Ben. Yeah. While you were away. Mm, what a sad time it was. For the podcast? Yes. Yes, it was sad. For all of the people in Japan who missed me. Yeah. We had to do a few episodes without you. Yeah. Uh, but one of the episodes, I got you on the phone. Yes. And we recorded a phone conversation. Yeah, I remember that. Now, you're kind of famous for doing strange mouth sounds. Oh, uh, okay. Like lots of kind of stuff. Well, I don't know if I'm famous for that. In my heart, you're famous yes. for that. It's just you that's not famous. Well, I'm the one who has to edit all those sounds. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching the video, those sounds aren't edited. So if you're curious about Ben's mouth sounds, mm -hmm. uh, come to YouTube. Check out the video. <laughs> See the unedited version. Anyway, anyway, we were talking on the phone. And uh, yeah, we had a nice conversation. Yeah, no, it wasn't the best connection. Not the best, but not bad. Not too bad. And then when I edited it, mm -hmm. there was one thing you said where you did a very sudden, strange sound, <laughs> like in the middle of a sentence. Again? Do you remember the demon bubbles? Yes. This reminds me of that. When you, you said I did like a demon voice. Yeah, you mm. were in the middle of a sentence. Yeah. And I told you that's my medical condition right, where I can't, can't burp. burp. Yeah. It just kind of, you get these weird bubbles. Yeah, I get a rising demon bubble kind of situation. And the the sound can come out even mid-sentence. Sometimes it just comes out. When it's ready, it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I want you to explain to me, what the hell is this sound? Ben, explain. Uh, how about you, Abe? What's going on in the cold, That's frozen, not, that didn't happen. northern that, island nation of Japan? That is <laughs> the audio. I edited that <laughs> weird sound out. What the hell is that sound, Ben? Uh, how about you, Abe? What's going on in the... Uh, how about you, Abe? What's going okay, on in well, the cold... For, what the hell, Ben? <laughs> for, <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? Maybe it was a technical thing. Did you do it? You did do it. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. If put I the, did it. Hey, put on the headphones oh. and let me play it just one more time for you. Oh. I'll turn the volume down because you're going to actually put these headphones you on. Turn that volume down on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, listen now, okay? Okay. Uh, how about you, Abe? What's going on in the cold, frozen north? Was that a mouth no, sound? I think that's an electrical buzz. Bzz, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> really? If I, it sounds like it sounds like a fart sound that you make with your mouth. Yeah, but like, like you said, why would I do that? Yeah, why would you do that, yeah, Ben? Why would I do that? I but wouldn't. That's always my question. I wouldn't do. Why it. would Ben do that? <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Uh, <laughs> I ask that question all the time. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, even I don't know why I do some things, but I don't remember doing that. And if I did it. It was completely unintentional. Oh, okay. Yes. So you didn't mean to to make that sound. <sniffs> but you did do it. I don't think I did. So it was a technical thing. Because that's not my burp. My burp's more like... No, I know. It wasn't uh, your burp. Uh, 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 but it sounded like you intentionally made this kind of farting sound. No, that's crazy. In the middle of a sentence. That's crazy thing to do. Uh, how about you, Abe? What's going on in the cold? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was, okay, I was half drunk. Half drunk. Two thirds drunk. 66.6% <laughs> <laughs> six drunk. Yes, the demon's number. Wow, okay. And I was also lying on my chest. You were lying down when we recorded? Yeah. I think I was on my on my elbows on the bed. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a high school girl talking to her boyfriend. Really? <laughs> <laughs> How 
How about you, Abe? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about me? Okay. So you, yeah. you, well, no. honest, your honest opinion. Well, opinion. You, I, I was, I know the facts. Oh, I did not do this okay. intentionally. Mm. Intentionally? Yeah. Was it you? Could or? I have done it unintentionally? Yes. My body is capable of making some strange sounds, as you well know. I feel like you're not going to give me a definitive answer. Well, that's the answer. I didn't do it on purpose. But you did do it. I don't know if I did it. So you don't... I don't know. Damn it. I may have done it unconsciously. The is mystery the answer. continues. Yeah, I don't remember doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the mystery continues. The mystery does. No one will ever know. Right. Uh, where that sound came from. Nobody will ever know. Hmm. Darn. It's very embarrassing, though, and I apologize to everybody mm -hmm. who heard it, which was only you, I guess. Only Well, now everyone heard it. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, mm. thank you for your great advice. Mm, regarding what? Regarding a baby stroller. Oh, yeah, the baby stroller. Yes. The pram. You know, there's pram. The pram. Yes, the British people might call it a pram. The perambulator. <laughs> perambulator? Well, to perambulate, I believe, means to walk. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I don't something, know, ben. something related Are to... Are you sure? Yes. Perambulate. <laughs> perambulate? I think perambulate. Means walk. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Perambulate. Right, yeah, right. I'm interested now. Because I don't know the history okay. of it. Ben's but, checking if he's telling the truth or not. But as I do that, uh, are you I've never this heard pram? this word, perambulate. Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. So we say pram, but it is called a perambulator. It is. It is, yeah. That's the full version of the word. Well, it's even stupider than before. An old-fashioned word for a baby carriage. Yes, a baby carriage. Which is even more stupid. I hate baby carriage. Well, yeah, that's why we it's call a it a stroller. Yeah, but stro strolling? Yeah, because you stroll, you walk. Sometimes you're not. You're pushing it over rocks going, fuck this baby. <laughs> Should never have had this baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> Push it up a hill. It anyway. It over. Uh, perambulator. I can't believe that's actually a word. Well, there you go. Well, the perambulator. It might be useful if you ever go to England. Yes, and perambulate along the Queen's Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you gave me good advice about a baby stroller. Yes. You know, you've got three kids. You've had plenty of experience with various baby strollers. Well, basically, we started with a really shit one, used one. So you, you got a crappy one oh, at first? It was such a piece of shit. Okay. P.O.S. P.O.S. Mm. Piece of shit. I used to kick it and like hit it. Really? Why? Just because I hated it so much. Why? Was it that bad? Yeah, it was that bad. What mm. was so bad about it? It couldn't fold it up. Sometimes when you f you folded it up, it would catch your finger, pinch Ooh. your finger. Ouch. It was a stupid design. It was really wonky, like unstable. Oh, really? Tiny oh. wheels. A wonky stroller. Yep. It was the color of shit. It was brown. Brown. Shit brown. Okay. <laughs> Just everything about this thing. It was, it was a total a POS. Total POS. All right. Yeah, straight out of hell. And then you got a good one. Yeah, got the good one, which I suppose my wife found. Uh-huh. Mm. Yep. Well, it was very reasonably priced. Yep. Uh, less than $200. Sure. Uh, brand new. Look, it's difficult to recommend something when I've only tried two. <laughs> but one was terrible. The one's one, great. Yeah. Mm. And but the thing is, not only is it great, it's also reasonably priced. Well, that's important. Yeah. Some of these prams are crazy prices. Crazy expensive. Yeah, guys. They have like eight hundred dollar strollers. Yeah. You don't need that. Jesus. You don't need it. In baby Lamborghini. It's, it's like people who buy their babies like new shoes. Oh. Yeah, baby yeah, shoes. Little Jordans. They're the most useless thing ever. They'll be useless in two weeks. Yeah. They won't fit. 
And babies don't need shoes. They can't walk. They can't walk. Yeah. <laughs> they just lie down. Lying there with my new shoes on. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Yes. I used it for the first time yesterday. Okay. I took it shopping. Oh, yeah. Amazing. You like it? It's a game changer. It is a g total game changer. Because it has that big basket under the seat. Yes. And put all my groceries in there. That thing is strong, let me tell you. Yeah? Yeah, I've overloaded that plenty of times. Shopping, skateboards, soccer balls, you name it. It's been in there. Wow. I think a baby was in there at one point. You put your baby <laughs> <Yes>. in there? <laughs> Just to see. <laughs> and... uh <laughs> <laughs> You put your baby in the storage yes storage basket under the under stroller the seat. seat yeah under the seat so was your like older baby in the seat uh no and you put your newborn baby in the basket no I just put my newborn in the basket just for fun just for fun because we were talking about <laughs> but well no for research research because we were talking about buying a double pram. <laughs> Okay. Which, are, which I hate and it was stupid. Right, a two-seater yeah. pram. But we needed to because we had two kids Why am I saying at pram? that age. A, two, a stroller. You know, it's fun and better to say pram. No. It's fun to say. So it's kind of I fun. thought we don't need a double pram. We can just put one baby under the seat in the <laughs> basket. <laughs> but then. Was your wife okay with this idea? Uh, no. No, but yeah. I, I realized... <laughs> Any kind of rock or thing on the ground that is high hits that basket. Right. So the baby will be bashed on a rock and the stones and sticks, trees. If you're not careful. Yeah, if you're not careful. Okay. So uh, anyway, it's, well, it's a good it's pram. It's a terrible place to put a baby. It is. You can't see. It's hidden under the seat. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> It's like I Baby. only have two kids again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been, the best thing about that pram. It's Stroller. just it's it can go anywhere. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that that was the thing that really sold me. Yes, that convinced me, that persuaded me. Mm -hmm. Is you were telling me about how it has big wheels. Yep. on the back. You need those big wheels. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, I think I need big wheels too. Yep. It's like the four-wheel drive of prams, even though it only has three wheels, <laughs> which is the best design, a three-wheel pram. Yes. Mm. And that's the other thing. The front only has one wheel, so it's more maneuverable. Completely maneuverable. Yes. You can Left, right, you can U turn. Wheel it around. 360, 1080. <laughs> so... Very happy with that. Thank you for your good advice. No, you're very, very welcome. A good pram. Uh, every man needs a good pram. I kind of like the word pram now. Yeah. It's nice to say. Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to admit it. Well, sometimes you I have to... I might switch. Admit when you're wrong. Well, I'm not wrong, but it is kind of fun <laughs> to say pram. It is fun to say. Like stroller, mm. that's what it is. But pram, especially, sounds, sounds kind of fun. Even more fun to say, perambulator. Yeah. Hmm. Honey, where's the perambulator? <laughs> yeah. I got the shoes, got the car keys. Where's the perambulator? <laughs> Where is that? What have you done with my perambulator, you fool? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, great. Great pram. Yeah, it is a very good pram. You win. I do. And speaking of <laughs> <laughs> speaking of new things and winning, um, I've got a new DIY project. Oh! Yeah, I'm beginning. A new DIY project? Yep, I'm starting a new DIY project, even though I haven't finished the previous project. Oh. Hmm. Oh, right, because you made the wall in the backyard, yeah. but you haven't made it, like, concrete yet. Not yet. So I'm Still overlapping grab. projects. Uh-oh. Mm. You're going <laughs> to you turn mean? into the guy who has a hundred different unfinished projects around the house. Yeah, I've always been that guy. You know who's like that? Who? 
old Mr. Sugar. Oh, really? My neighbor. He didn't finish something? Well, I was his customer, so of course he finished. Oh, I hope so. But if you go to my、uh, dining room、yeah. and you look out the window at Mr. Sugar's house,、mm-hmm. you'll notice there's a,、uh, a door up on the second floor. Yes. That goes、Opens、nowhere. To nothing. Yeah. yeah. I did notice that. Oh, you've seen? Yes.、That? Yeah. So it's like they have a door, but there's no balcony. <laughs> it's so dangerous. If you walked out of that door, goodbye. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> What are you doing, Mr. Sugar? That's when you don't like somebody, a guest. Just, yeah, the bathroom.、Yeah. The bathroom's just out that yeah, door. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. A VIP <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> Falls into a pile of dead bodies. Yeah, a big pot of hot oil or something. <laughs>、hmm. Or、oh, no, a big pot of boiling sugar. Ah, Mr. Sugar. Another one, candied. He likes to. The candy man. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to, likes to turn his enemies into sweet treats. Sweet toffees.、Mm-mm. Anyway, yeah, he's a handyman. Yes. And if you look at his yard, there's all sorts of stuff going on. That, it's, that house has a lot going on. I think he built it all by himself. It looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a kind of a ramshackle house. It's old. It is old. But it's pretty cool. He has a big balcony. Well, it's a beautiful balcony and he's, it survived some very major earthquakes. So, Mr.、Mm. Sugar built it strong. Well, I, you know, do my best to、uh, copy Mr. Sugar in all of my DIY work. I will say my wall has survived the winter. Good. Very well. I don't know what I was expecting. I, I, thought of, I thought I'd come home from Australia and the wall would be somehow、oh, ben, frozen and、job. broken. You, you did、know. a great job. Don't yeah, worry. Thank you. What's a, the new project? Home cinema. The theater experience in your living room. Home cinema. Imagine a screen, cinema screen and a projector. And surround sound.、Yeah. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. Forget it. It's my only option. Terrible idea. No, l- hear me out. For too long, I've been struggling with、uh, a shitty little TV. It's a regular TV. It's not. It's too small.、Uh, it's covered in peanut butter, natto. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, all kinds of dirty things from my kids touching it. My dog licks it.、Ah, mm. Okay. It's, it's like a plate. It's more of a plate than a TV. Okay.、Mm. So I want, I want that big experience, you know. And now I have a house,、um, home more often.、Mm-hmm. I like watching movies with my wife. Yeah. So I thought, well, a big TV, it's a bit risky with these kids. Ah,、uh, yeah. Plus, the quality and price of projectors have. Has changed a lot. Projectors are super cheap now. They're much cheaper,、uh, they're much better, quieter, and higher quality than before. Yes. They still suck, though. Well, yeah. I mean, they're not for everyday TV. <laughs> no, they're good.、Watching. Yeah. Here's my problem with projectors. Okay, what's that? I hate them. Do you? <laughs> you hate projectors? <laughs> I do. I hate well, them. Let me tell you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know you were a projector hater. I do. I hate them so much.、Um, you can't watch them in the daytime. No, you can't. Yeah. No, it's for, mo- it's for, it's for a cinema experience. Okay. Yeah. But in the morning, you're still stuck with the shitty little TV. Yeah, that's fine. Because I don't really, we don't watch so much TV anyway. Okay. It's more for the kids. So you you're、know. not getting rid of the TV that you just complained about. No, that'll stay.、You、yeah, just, yeah. That's, a, that's for TV. Okay. This, this projector is only from watching movies. And movies or YouTube or whatever you want. Maybe some YouTube sometimes. Yeah. But mainly, you know, big, big Hollywood blockbusters. Okay. So you want to have like Ben's family movie t h e a t e r Yeah, yeah. So you want that theater feel? I want that theater feeling. Okay. I want to be eating popcorn, cuddling with my dog. All right. It's just. The projects above me. I just. 
And so I found a reasonable setup. Okay. And uh, now I'm researching how to attach it to the ceiling. And, right. So and that's the DIY the right project? Distance. That's the DIY project. That's not a DIY project. It kind of is. When I'm you buy a, a projector, cinema. it comes with an attachment. I'm not making the you projector. You just have to follow the directions and put it on the ceiling. Well, I'm still doing it myself. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. I haven't bought it yet, but um, that's my something I'm looking forward to. Uh, have yeah. you looked into... Uh, what kind of projector you want to buy. I have. And, you know, I discovered the best projectors everybody recommends are Epson. Epson, yeah. 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 I didn't know that. I thought Epson only made printers. You know what? Hmm. I bet. What? I bet a ton of our listeners have old, not old, but have projectors yeah. that they bought thinking, oh, this is going to be great. Oh, definitely. And then quickly they realized it's almost useless. They must have. And they never use it. They must have. And they'll probably sell it to you for half price. Like an exercise machine. Like an exercise machine. Yeah. You get it and you think, oh, I'm going to exercise every day. Every day I'm going to become buff. And then it just sits there. It does. And collects dust. Well, don't worry because this is going to be the best cinema ever. No, it's not. But, hey, listeners, <laughs> it is anyone out there who has an old projector no, that no, no. you don't want anymore... I don't want an old projector. Maybe Here's the thing. sell it to Ben for a nice uh, big discount. I need uh, the latest LCD projector. No, you don't. Yes, I do. They're all crap. They're not. I need a 4K LCD. So if anybody okay. has one of those, I'll take it. You'll, you'll take it if they want to give it to I mean, you. I'll, I'll, give them, it. I'll give them some money. You're, Obviously. You're, yeah. you're willing to buy it if they want to sell it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. get in touch. You know. 4K LCD. Those 4K are, LCD, Epson. Those are the kind of standards that you're looking for. So, yeah, yeah, 4K LCD. That, those are the standards. Does it have I'd to like. be Epson? It, well, it has to be a recognizable brand. Okay. A name brand. Okay. Uh, I just used an expression earlier, collect dust. Oh, yeah, collecting dust. Yeah, that's yes. when you're not using something. It's just sitting there collecting dust. And when you decide to use it, we say to dust it off. Yeah, you can yeah. say, oh, I'll dust off the old projector. Time to dust off the old projector. Psh. Yeah. Show some sex education videos. Well, I... That's my memories of projectors when I was in school watching sex education projector uh, in the classroom. Okay. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. Learning about ladies' parts. Anyway, I'm sure there are hundreds of projectors out there just collecting dust because everyone buys them and then they never use them. Well, there are hundreds of fools. And I tell everyone who's about to buy a projector, don't. Have you ever owned <laughs> have you ever owned a projector setup? No. Okay. No. But because well, I to, have too many friends who made that mistake. I've also seen horrible setups before, but I know what to do, and I'm going to do it right. So Ben's home theater coming soon. Coming soon, exactly. Very exciting. Well, I hope... Uh, I might get a popcorn machine too, and I might print little cinema tickets. And if you come over, you can... Why you don't to, you just you buy... Give me a ticket. Why don't you just buy a bunch of bags of dust... Because um, all these things are just going to collect. <laughs> well, you can try to bring down my projector dream, but it only gets stronger, Abe. Okay. And you're going to see. Okay. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for tuning in. Come to 55freebird.com. Please. Send us your questions. Send us your messages. Songs. Oh! Thoughts. Shit, I forgot. Sorry, wait. What? There's an update. Oh, Okay. This is an update about uh, green onions. Oh, uh, okay, yes. Remember we had the question about home remedies. Oh, home remedies, and yeah. Wataru, right? Wataru said the name to, the to wear green onions around your neck. Is yeah. a traditional Japanese home remedy. Yes, his grandmother used to do that. Put them on, Wataru, quickly. Make a green onion necklace. Yes. Them. Right. And... Actually, there is some science behind 
this. Ah, I see. Okay. Here we go. Science. This science update. Well, we thought it was just superstition. Um, yeah, you know, but even some superstition is based in reality. Yeah. So apparently green onions are have a very pungent smell. They do. They can make Strong. you cry. Oh. Yeah. And it actually has an antibacterial property. Ooh, it fights bacteria. Yep. And uh, it's said to uh, uh, encourage recovery from fatigue. Oh. So, so prevent feeling, <laughs> fatigue. You're feeling a bit tired. Yeah. Um, you have a cold, you often have Yeah, a bit run down. Yeah. Well, I'm fatigued every day, all day. Maybe I should just permanently wear green onions. Maybe you should. Maybe I should. I'll make you a necklace. And uh, they say that <laughs> um, when you wear it as a necklace, yeah, it's kind of always being breathed into your nose and mouth. Yeah, you're constantly breathing it in. And that's how it helps you when you have a cold. Okay, so it's kind of just there directly medicating you. It's kind of the same as your grandmother used to put your head over a hot bowl of water and honey and lemon mm -hmm. so that you breathe in the... Yeah. It's kind of the same. You wear the necklace, so you, all day you're breathing in this onion stuff. Horrible, heavy onion necklace. Yeah. <laughs> it's also going to make your clothes smell like onion. So, sorry about that. Just wanted to give that quick update. Interesting. A science update. There you go. Not all superstition is silly mm, fantasy. Some of it is fact. Oh, good update, Abe. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Come to Instagram. Give us a question. We love to answer them. Join the freaks and weirdos. Yeah. We're at 230 uh, followers. All right. Now. So that's a big jump from 200. And it's nothing but success in the future. All right. Mm. Well, are you going to make another song when you get to like 300? Yeah, or something? I think 300 is a good target. Okay. It was 1,000, but I've adjusted my expectations based on past growth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great week. Uh, see you soon. See you guys. Bye.